If you think of yourself that you are not worthy of love, the most attractive thing another person can do is to withdraw the attention from you. But why is that? Think about it. I mean, yeah, of course, think about it. Uh, this is for today. We end the video here. Goodbye. See you next time. No, of course, like this is something called your life script. And in particular, it's the script of your love life. And a script is some sort of automation you live your life by. And maybe you had the script written uh, in the time your parents had some sort of fights or whatever. And you think somehow that like you have a core belief that you are not worthy of love. And because this is your core belief, this is how you have to be treated, you look for that. And this is like totally insane, right? Because we all want to have fulfilled relationships. We all want to be loved, but on a deeper level, we don't. And this is kind of scary because we all want to be loved, but we always end up with these people in our lives or partners that treat us bad or that behave bad around us or that um, end the relationship in some sort of way that we feel this pain again, that we are in despair again and that we suffer again. Why is that? Why do we always have these people in our lives? And I had this in my life too and I had like many, many relationships. And here and there, there were girls in this relationship and they ended the relationship with me. And I was at my lowest points. I was in so much pain and so much suffering because, because of the end of this relationship. And at some point I noticed something that um, the women couldn't have been more different from each other. Like, why do I have the same pain that I had with this girl and a couple years later with that girl and a couple years later again with that girl? It must be me. It must be my way of thinking. It must be my way of choosing these girls. It must be my energy that attracts these women. But it was never my intention on the cognitive level or on the level below it that I need to be mistreated or they, that they need to withdraw the attention from me. But it happened so many times and during the relationships, it happened like um, at, at some points where I uh, always then thought I forgot myself, that I, uh, I, I lose myself here. But why was that? It, it wasn't because like I wasn't the same person anymore, but my script was unfolding. My script was unfolding that like after all this, this happy time and all this honeymoon phase or whatever, um, I now have to think that I am not worthy of love anymore. And so my energy shifted. Like even though like we had a beautiful time together, I could not enjoy it anymore and I could not enjoy myself anymore. And you could say that some sort of self-sabotaging mechanism would unfold you. But that's not really the case because a self-sabotage is something that we want and we self-sabotage our way to not get it. But on this deeper level, on this script level, I wanted to be uh, mistreated. I wanted to not be loved. I wanted to feel the feeling of not being worthy of love. So I subconsciously my energy shifted and I subconsciously did stuff in this relationship that led exactly to this outcome. And when it happens to you once, that's fine. When it happens to you twice, that's also fine maybe. But when it happens a lot of times, then you probably have some sort of habit here, some sort of script, some sort of pattern we have to look into. And I know that so many people suffer from this, men and women. They are trapped in their life scripts and then they think about, oh, it's, it's the fault of my partner. He or she is so bad and they're probably a narcissist or something. So, and also click on the eye icon that just popped up to watch why your partner is probably, or your ex-partner is probably not a narcissist. But we always think that the other person, it's the other person's fault. But when we always find that the other person is fault, then probably we have to look into ourselves and we have to look and we have to be honest with us that we are probably the one that that are attracting these problems not a, not these people you probably attracted these people because you were full of love you probably attracted your your ex-partner because you were full of love and joy and you enjoyed yourself and you enjoyed life and you loved uh, living uh, your best life and then the perfect partner came into your life and you had a really really great time but then at some point something happened and uh, your script unfolded and your partner couldn't do anything else than leave you or m mistreat you or behave in that way than that they behaved. So um, you cannot control 
your partner, you cannot control other people. You always have 50% control in a social interaction with two people, but you always have 100% of responsibility about your 50% of control. That means if the end result is not something you desire, you have the full responsibility to take care of your 50% control. That's good news. That's good news because you can change. You can change something in your behavior. And not also in your behavior, in your life script as well, in the patterns you engage into when you are in a relationship. And the patterns that make you suffer and the patterns that make you sad and the patterns that make the other person leave you and you are totally down at the end of a relationship. We can look into that and it's totally changeable. Because the best thing to change a pattern is to do the exact opposite. We sometimes handle out of fear when the patterns emerge. When the patterns emerge that um, we have to scare away uh, the partner because our life script unfolds. We are used to it. We are used to be punished. We are used to be left because this is how we are used to be treated. We learned at some point in our childhood, in our adolescence, that people that we love have to take away the attention or their love from us. And attention is just a form of love. To be seen is just a form of love. And we are used that we, are, we have to be treated that way. And this is the most attractive thing the other person can do, to take away the attention, to take away the love from us, to withdraw suddenly the love, because we are used to it. And the next part of the script unfolds then. And the next part means if we can convince them or persuade them that they come back to us or that we try it again, then we redeemed ourselves. And we are suddenly have this value again. We are finally um, fulfilled our life script, which means that we have to fight for love. That love doesn't flow to us easily. We always have to fight because to be loved is work, because love is hard. And this is something we deeply, deeply believe in. But the opposite, the exact opposite is true. Love is everywhere. And love is like unlimited, and it's abundant. But when we think we have to put in work or effort to be loved, then we're not coming from a point of love. We're coming from a point of scarcity, of that love is scarce, is a scarce resource, and we're coming from a point that we are not worthy of love. And we have to put in all this work, and then they love us again, and then we are redeemed, and we finally can be loved, but nothing will change. And during this part, during the second step of your script, where you want to redeem yourself, then you will be more miserable than before. And the solution is so easy. There's nothing new, I will tell you now. You know this already. The solution is love yourself first. It's the most important step. Do something you enjoy. Do something you like. Take care of your thoughts. Take care of all the thoughts that are bad thoughts, that bring you down. Change them into good thoughts that lift you up. It's so easy. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. It's so important. If you don't love yourself first, if you are not the most important person in your life and you want to find happiness in the other person because the other person is the bringer of your joy and happiness, you are doomed. I guarantee you it. You are doomed. You will always make the same mistake again and the next breakup will be as much as painful as the one before or even more painful because you cannot let go because you do not know that you are the most valuable, valuable person in the universe for you, for yourself. You have to love yourself first. It's so freaking important. I cannot um, emphasize it more. Love yourself first. Because when you love yourself first, when you are the most important person in your life and the other person is withdrawing love and attention from you, and you know for yourself that you are the most awesome being in history, then this is the most unattractive thing that the other person can do. If the other person in your partnership is withdrawing love from you, and you know you are freaking awesome, then it's like, what are you doing? Like, how can you do that? This is so weird. Why are you withdrawing love? Why are you not showing up anymore? Why are you not here from me anymore? This, I don't want this. Um, if you want to go, just go. Like, I don't want this in my life. The other person is withdrawing love from you and you love yourself the most, then you will not attract these people anymore. You will not be with these people anymore. You will not engage with these people anymore. And your quality of life 
will increase so freaking much. And if I spoke to your heart right now because you know I'm freaking right, then press the freaking like button. I think I'm not allowed to say the other F word here on YouTube, so let's stay with freaky now. Life scripts run our life. This is so important. We have to take care of our thoughts because it all begins there. And our thoughts create emotions, or emotions create actions or non-actions. And because or like based on our actions or non-actions, we actions we create habits in our lives and our habits form our lifestyle or our life in general this is why it's so important we have to have uh, positive thoughts and positive thoughts um, when we go to bed positive thoughts when we uh, yeah, wake up in the morning so watch the next video where you get where you get a step-by-step -step guide on how to change your thoughts in the first thing of the day and you will change your life for the better so watch the next video and i will see you in the next one